Hello everybody, welcome to another update on MicroStrategy. We will cover the 4-hour, the daily and the weekly for MicroStrategy. Now that Bitcoin has corrected or is correcting right now again, most of the news indicate that this is due to miner selling. After Grayscale dump, now the miner dump right now, it's just to flush out the inefficient miners. The ones that are more in trouble, the ones that are forced to sell Bitcoin, eventually that selling will stop and the ETFs and everybody who has been accumulating Bitcoin in the last few months continues buying it bit by bit and eventually it will overtake the selling. Once that happens, we will resume the bull run and go higher. That is as simple as I can put it. If you don't understand this and you are impatient enough to sell your coins, get out of the market, it's not for you. But we are near, near, near a few weeks maybe from this movement. And those weeks, we have been waiting for them for the last four years. And people will get out of the market just at the worst time before the parabolic move in Bitcoin. That's what's going to happen. That has happened in the past, unless Bitcoin decides to completely cancel what it has done in the last three cycles. I'm sorry to tell you that the impatient will be very disappointed and the patient people will be very happy. That's all I can say. So for MicroStrategy, pre-market now we're at 1540. We are trending sideways flat right now on MicroStrategy. We went almost to 1800, got rejected, found support around 1500, bounced back to 1700, got rejected. Again, support near 1500, went to 1700 again, got rejected again. And now we're again at 1500. ME 200 on the four hour chart is at 1400. So that would be our next support. The other support is at 1300 or so. We could correct a little bit more and then we'll resume. We could trade sideways for a few days and weeks still, but you just have to be patient. One thing that I noticed is that MicroStrategy has not corrected as much, I believe, as Bitcoin, but it's a solid entry. It's MicroStrategy is at a rebate right now before the parabolic move of Bitcoin. It's up to you to decide what to do, but these prices are very, very good. MicroStrategy has been added to a few indexes, so there's perpetual buying of the stock that's happening in the stock market. So that probably will diminish a little bit the volatility of MicroStrategy because that's fourth buying in order to satisfy the criteria of the different indexes where MicroStrategy is included. But for now, no panic, nothing is horrible in the chart. We just have to wait and weather the storm, wait until this is completed and push forward eventually. On the daily, we have this big structure that we are right now potentially an ascendant triangle here uh, with a target of 1800. We see the parabolic move here that we made up to 1800, corrected almost to 1200, then bounced back up to 2000, got rejected hard, then found support again at 1200. We got a little weak here, but you can disregard it. And then we pump again to 1700, and got corrected but now we're trading sideways on a higher section of the tri of the triangle here we did not go back to uh, 1300 or 1400 we stayed above 1500 so my guess is that we're going to trade sideways in this region right now and then eventually challenge 1800 that's a patient game right now that we have to tolerate we have support here of the MA50 on the daily chart. The MA200 is going up to the right. Momentum is bullish for MicroStrategy. Still, even after this correction, 
I know that many people are freaking out. I don't know why, mainly because they're impatient and they want returns yesterday. So that's what's killing them right now. You just have to be patient. The consolidation here has been done with diminishing volumes. Again, the same type of situation that we have seen in the past. Very, very predictable. So every time these assets, Bitcoin, MicroStrategy, correct to support, it's a nice entry for anyone who wants to invest in it or add to their position. That's the only thing that I can tell you, not financial advice. You will not get, you know, the, the bottom bottom every single time, but you can always add up to these in these zones where it's corrected near support levels and that will really improve your average buying price of your asset that if you have still money to invest in the asset if you have completed your buying then you just wait and tolerate the volatility and react accordingly that's the only thing that you need to do be patient it's coming the momentum is still positive for Bitcoin and MicroStrategy, do not get out of the asset at the last second just before the biggest moves in the last four years. Many of you have been patient for four years. Many of you have been patient for three years or two years. A few days and a few weeks will not change anything. Be patient. Keep your coins, keep your shares. And on the weekly chart, you see the same type of structure. Pump correction, rebound, and now trading near the top of the resistance, not at the resistance per se, but healthy correction, healthy uh, consolidation, diminishing volumes on that correction. Patience will reward anybody who can tolerate this tough situation, boring situation, non-exciting non situation. Just wait and see, once we clear clearly the 1800, we're gonna go to 2000 and 2200 very quickly. So be patient, the gains are coming. I just hope you enjoyed this video. Stay calm, stay the course. You have followed your strategy throughout this movement, especially if you accumulated micro strategy at the bottom here, you knew what would Happen. We had a lot of periods here where it was extremely boring for MicroStrategy. That was the time to accumulate. I know that many people did it. Many people have done that every single four cycle for many assets linked to crypto or crypto assets. After that, it's just a patient game. That is as simple as I can put it. Hold your shares, hold your coins, and see the gains come into your portfolio in the upcoming days and weeks just be patient continue watching our updates for many assets that we cover in the channel i'm happy to see that many people continue watching the videos enjoy the videos many of you leave comments i'm extremely happy most of them are quite positive so thank you very much for that i'll continue providing information to what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, and what I expect from the market. See you all on the next one.